children's life can be bigger than God who created life. That's a scripture that says, have faith in God. Have faith in God. It speaks volume. It simply means drop your fear. Look up to your creator. See your creator and place your demands. The creator is bigger than every content of your foundation. Whatsoever your foundation holds against you is subject to the authority and power of your creator. When you receive Christ, you have become an extension of all that God is. Your content is what matters. Not your outlook. Not your circumstances. Not your challenges. And I'm confident that many of us are here because we are waiting on God. So when you have lost confidence and definition of your moment, wait on God. For renewal of your hope, redemption of your life, and the redefinition of your contents. You are not just aware that you are stronger than you can ever imagine. And your strength is because of who lives in you. It's not because of how you were born or what is happening now. What's happening now is a moment. It never happened before. It was not ordained to live forever with you. It's a moment. And every moment has an inspiring time. And before this season is over, this moment will inspire. And the moment that we favor you shall be born. Hallelujah. Time will not permit me to do some things immediately, but I'm going to ask you to sit up. I'm going to ask you to take your position and let me show you some mysteries. Many of you would have read some things we posted today. We posted what God revealed, and whatever is revealed is dead, dead on arrival. So you will fulfill your destiny. You are not even saying amen. If you are so sure that with God you will fulfill your destiny, let your amen come alive. Amen. I will be talking about manifestation by resurrection faith. And I will be visiting the book of Hebrews 11 to take you up and I will be showing you scriptures to anchor the reason why you will manifest your appointment as ordained by God. So you may be seated now. Praise God. Hebrews chapter 11. Come with me to verse 8. Hebrews 11, we're going to be fast because we have others we just to visit. Hebrews 11, I read from verse 8, by faith. When he was called to go out into, by faith, Abraham, maybe Abraham the resident pastor. So we are, if you're studying Abraham today, so listen very well, Abraham. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out from Liberia into a place which he should, after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing whether he went. 
he went out not too sure of his destination not too sure of what will happen you are living in a place where you have father where you have mother where you have friends where you have you know affiliates but you are living it to an entire new world where you know no one verse 9 by faith he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacle with Isaac and Jacob the heirs with him of the same promise whatever you have suffered with your children whatsoever you have been subjected to in your commitment to obey God we end up in your testimony it may have been painful for Abraham it may have been demanding for Abraham but it ended up in his testimony your pains shall end up in your testimonies verse 10 for he looked for a city which had foundation whose builder and maker is God are you here you look for what For he looked for a city which had foundation. The city had foundation. Whose builder and maker is God. Verse 11. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed. Sarah herself receives. Are we here? received strength to conceive and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised i told you on sunday that faith is riding on the promise of god and the promise of god is a product of the word of god it is defined as hope and i told you that without the word of god there cannot be a promise and without a the promise there cannot be hope and without hope there cannot be faith so every time we study god's word we are building we are building an atmosphere to steer up our faith content that will enable us to fly and ride on what God had promised. Are you here? Your faces are not looking too as if you are here. Anyway, whether you are here or not, God is here. Praise God. So verse 10. So verse 10. Is my concern. For he looked for a city which had foundation, whose builder and maker is God. This reminds me that there are cities whose foundation are made by men. Okay. Sometimes in Africa, when they want to build, they go and kill a ram. They go and kill a goat to lay a foundation. And they speak to the blood of the goat and the ram. And in the course of time, it is the desire of the builder that will be happening to every occupant of the building. You understand this? So they are cities, they are homes, they are houses whose foundation were determined and designed by men. But you know that the church was born into the faith of Abraham. Alright? Abraham was the first man that God spoke to and asked him to follow him. He was to be king. He was to reign.
it was true to everything and the bible say against the expectation of the people against the expectation of his kingdom Abraham decided to follow the demand of God in his conscience are you here he was a man like you and I he had personal problems he couldn't find solution to the problems he got married he wasn't getting the result of marriage there were short lives in his family the senior brother just died the father suddenly died they were responsibilities and he was thinking about it and the people said you are the next king now that your father has died we are going to make you king if the community said we are going to make you king will you, will you not be happy praise God but he saw those rights and his conscience said that's not what I want and they said to him go marry a second wife that will give you a male child so you'll be qualified to be our king you look at the beautiful wife he married he said when i married you i married you to live with you forever no demon will come in between us he rejected all the expectation and desire of men and he handed over his conscience and all his desires to god the bible said he decided to look for a foundation whose builder and maker is God. Today, you'll be divorcing every demand of your foundation. You will be erecting the foundation of God on your personal foundation. Are we here? If you've read what I posted last night, it was around one. Or thereabout, I wouldn't know exactly the time. But if you check the time that post was made, that was the time I had it. And I got up and I asked my wife, Did you hear me praying? He said, No. That prayer was too strong, was too loud. That I felt it was a physical prayer. And honestly, that prayer was taking place in America praise god that was lying on my bed may your dream take you to good places you are many still suffering some have you not break your fast today okay so let your men sound like somebody that have broken his fast can you not shout amen everything about abraham's narration were, were dreams good dreams he was dreaming see him he said outside where he was god was taking him to where his solutions were i go to america last night if you like call me a witch praise god there's nothing you can do about it where you have a good fellowship with god you will enjoy his his relationship and I met a big party. It's a massive party. You know, one of our problems is that we don't obey God. Some of us will just dream, then we turn the other side. We can get up, go to the toilet, come back, and then spread our cloth and cover ourselves better. How can God solve your problem? Dream is one of one way that God can wake you up. One way that God can speak to your situation. At the level that God is leading us, we now operate at such a level of angels. Praise God. The spirit of the saint made perfect that people are adoring. So those people, God can write through their spirit, okay, to address your situation, to minister to your moment, and that's exactly what, we, what, what we're experiencing now. So I landed in a state, I don't want to mention the name, and there was a party people were there many people came with their friends and it was serve yourself 
So they served my food on my arrival. They didn't know that I came there to pray for the celebrant. I didn't actually come there to eat. And somebody felt that what they served me was not proper. So to show her, to show his love and passion for me as a priest, he offered his own meal to join my own. And I took it and said, thank you. God bless you. I was so excited. Everybody was so excited. But they stopped eating because I entered that place. They wanted me to sit down. I wanted to know what I was going to say next. So as I saw those things they said before me, I said, can you please rise up, let us pray. Leave your food. And I called the prayer point. It was so strong and so powerful. Anything done in my foundation to restrict and limit my progress in life. To hinder my destiny. Be exposed. Be defied. Be destroyed. And let my life move forward. I was surprised I was praying it. Everybody left their food. And they began to pray. At the end of the prayer, at the end of the prayer, the celebrant was to be poisoned that day. May the enemy not appear on the day of your celebration. Are we here? I took them for a long time in that prayer, but they began to sweat. And some of them prayed the prayer home. Prayed the prayer home. And there were these two people that I saw that came together and they got parted away. And I look at the food of the celebrant, it was poisoned. And I got up. You know, when we wait on the Lord, every secret of the devil will be exposed. So I believe that whatever in that a man is in the foundation. Or in his territory. But I say to you today, it was so ever have been done, designed, programmed and projected to restrict your progress in life, to hinder you in life, in these 21 days, it will be exposed. If you have broken your fast, can I hear you are shouting? shall be defied it shall be destroyed every arm behind it shall be cut off the wickedness connected to it shall be destroyed Bible said no weapon passion against you shall prosper I declare today that everything projected to mess up your divine appointment it shall be frustrated. God is rising for you. God is rising for you. The Lord will be connected to your foundation. And the war against you from your foundation shall be over. Amen. Come on, are, are you here? I know how much God can fight battles. And I know how he has fought my battles. And in these 21 days, I know that what God has done in Christ is enough to fight my battle. My faith is not on what I have done. My faith is on what he has done. He offered Christ in places where cows have been offered to substitute my life. Where goats and fowls and fish have been used in rivers, on deities, on trees to subdue, to praise my life. The blood of Jesus was offered as a redemption. Come with me to the book of Colossians chapter 1. 
I read two verses there, and then we migrate to Colossians chapter 2, and then we go back to our warfare scriptures and we start praying. Somebody, this night is your day of victory. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 13. Who are delivered us from the powers of darkness? I had always said in this house that what you don't know will not know you. If it is your father, your mother that knows those things, that had the contract, and they are trying to pass it over to you, they will not prosper. Who are delivered not from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Talking about a new foundation. You are migrating from your ancestral, retrogressive, repressive, backward foundation to a transformed, translated foundation in Christ Jesus. Are we here? For our life is hid in Christ in God, verse 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood. That blood stands for repurchasing whatsoever has been sacrificed to put you down. Even the forgiveness of sin. Come to chapter 2 verse 14. Plotting the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. Ordinances that says you will never marry. When you marry you will struggle until you die. Old Nancy that say you will bring forth children, but you will never have money to give them the kind of future that they deserve. Old Nancy that say you will be in Lagos, you will be in a city, but you cannot settle down. Those are statements of witchcraft and wickedness. The Bible said in Colossians 2 14 that God up to plot out is to remove from the root. Are we here? I don't know. How old you are. If you were in our own age. When we were in primary school. That's what they call plotting paper. That time we use fountain pen. When you are writing. The ink will be dropping on the paper. So the paper will, will stain with the ink. So you now go and buy plotting paper. When it happens. You put the plotting paper to soak the ink. Praise God. So that the paper can be clean. That was what happened in our own time. So when I see plotting out here, I know what it means. Plotting is to remove something as if it was never there. Are we here? The handwriting of people who have spoken with their mouth, spoken with their hand, spoken with their finger two days ago. One of our family here in a church. One man in their family troubled everybody, put everybody in the pocket. I want to confess that he has all of them put in a calabash. All the names of the whole family. I don't know whether that was Sunday or Saturday. He went to farm. And they were waiting for him to come back. He couldn't come. 21 days have started. You know every time we have 21 days, something happens somewhere. Praise God. It happened 4 years ago. It happened 3 years ago. It happened two, last year. Another one has happened now. I don't know what will happen next. But everyone that says you are their problem, I wish them well. Are we here? When I say I wish them well, you know what I mean. I wish them what they wish you. Praise God. He went and they waited and waited and they couldn't see him. So they went to look. When they got there, he has died. He had died, so they have to take the corpse off. And rather than crying that somebody died, the whole town were celebrating. If you were here in the second impartation, you will understood what has happened. How many of you understand here? No weapon. And we send down every weapon. Every weapon. And remember that one? He has swallowed riches. He shall vomit it. And they will die. Have you forgotten those prayers? So, Colossians 2, 14 is saying, that God had the power to plot out every handwriting of restriction, limitation, and then bad go on your life. Their hands as have vowed, you will never walk. Go to school, have the best of certificate, you will never have any value. That was yesterday. Today, 
What the blood of Jesus represent? Plotting out. Look at it. Can we read it together? Plotting out. The handwriting of ordinances. Ordinances talks about foundational laws. Foundational decrees. Foundational altars. Everything that has been orchestrated in the foundation. That was against us. Which was contrary to us. When something is contrary to you. It fights against you. It fights your progress. Fights your expectation. Fights your hope. Fights your joy. Fights everything around you. Are you still here? And took it out of the way. Nailing it to his cross. Whatsoever is on your way. Have been taken out of your way. I didn't hear amen. Help me tell three people around you. Whatsoever is on your way to your next level have been taken out of your way. Whatsoever is on your way to your celebration have been taken out of your way. Whatsoever is on your way to your financial breakthrough have been taken out of your way. Whatsoever is on your way to your manifestation have been taken out of your way. That is the word of God for you. Are you still here? Look at how the Bible talked about the end of your enemies. Verse 15. Read with me. That's how your enemies has been concluded by God. So whoever is concluding you, you need knowledge, revelational knowledge to know that they have been concluded. And happen spoil principalities and powers. Spoil. It means that everything which is wizard, thrones, courtesan, are done against you, have been spoiled. With what did they spoil? God has spoiled them by the blood of Jesus. Are we here? And by the word of the Lord, and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Three dangerous supernatural weapons. Immediately Jesus died, the veil caught, the rock quaked, the earth quaked, the grave opened, everything done by the wicked spoiled. You need faith to accept this. Stop looking at the devil as if they are still in charge. Jesus had taken over. So your fear should be in Christ. Who is now the Lord of your life? Who is in charge of your life? Even if the devil claimed to have borrowed you to your mother. The truth is that the earth is the Lord. The fullness thereof. And they that dwell therein. And God has been so merciful that he sent Jesus to die. To pay whatever debt that is on your neck. So when he died on the cross... All he did was to settle whatsoever is tied to your name and tied to your life. So if you don't make progress, it is because you are ignorant, not because Jesus has not set you free. So today, verse 15 says, I have not spoiled principalities and powers. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. You need to accept the victory. Of his death, when he died, there was a public display of defeat, of grave, and powers, and thrones, and altars. And when he resurrected, everything the devil is came under his feet. And the Bible said to them that receive him, he gave power to become his extension. Are we here? And the Bible said that we are sitting where he is seated. Power and above. Thrones. Powers. And the Bible says he's seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you. So your life is where Christ is if you are a true believer. If you understand this, um, this truth, and your faith 
is at this level. After these 21 days, you will not remember your poverty. You will not remember your sickness. You will not remember your setback. You will see yourself at another level. Are we here? People you have never met will be asking and making inquiry about you. There are so many things God has put in you that will be placed in demand to promote your value. I see them happening very soon. So, we are to enforce our authority in Christ. We are to recreate our new foundation. We are to rebuild our own foundation. If we have Abraham, the Bible said in Galatians 3, 14, so that the blessings of Abraham will come upon the Gentiles. This is an act of faith. Abraham moved from the known and began to see for a city whose builder and maker is of God. In Christ, we come into a new city of faith whose foundation is built by God and whose maker is God. Today, Every agency that has set up machinery against you will turn against themselves. I show you for warfare scripture and we start praying. Isaiah chapter 19. Are you ready? Isaiah 19. Verse 2. And that we set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Is it in your Bible? I will do what? Hand over your troublers to God. And watch God trouble your troublers. It's an act of faith. Don't fight on your own. Commit your life to God. And hand over your battle to God. He has promised in Exodus 14 14, I will fight for you. You hold your peace. So hold your peace. So, and that we set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight everyone against his brothers. You know, somebody asked me, What is God saying about the political situation of our nation? I know that what God revealed to me was very deep. But he said, I look at the person and I, I was just prompted to tell him in summary what God told me. He said, the war will come to an end. But God will set the camp of the enemy against themselves. And the final war that will bring the victory will begin from the territories of the enemies. I don't want to mention it. I don't want to code it. But you can see what God is saying in Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter. He said, I will set the enemies of your life, of your family, of your nation against themselves. Sometimes you just see a family they grew up together loving each other. Praying for each other. Wishing each other well. If you even cause any member of the family, the greatest family will come and fight you. But you see them grow up and they get divided. Having different camp. This one fighting this one. This one fighting this one. It's not ordinary. Sometimes you watch them in home video. And then maybe we go and do a thing and say, may they never see each other together. And do something. Listen. In these 21 days, you will reconcile your family. Are we here? Whatsoever have been scattered, against the will of God shall be gathered together. 
And if the war cast on your family is meant to kill anybody before it will stop, it will go to the head of the people that sent it. They will die your death. In the name of Jesus. Why should somebody say, I have a party. I want to celebrate. And gathered his friends. And they came as friends to celebrate. And they were serving food. And some were coming to that party with poison in their pocket. You know, sometimes I tell people, if you want to serve God, serve him. You don't just be a Christian. And all your friends are there in the world. You are not safe. Some of them want you to depend on them. You need one naira, you call them, they give you. Two naira, you call them, they give you. Three naira, you call them, they The day you buy your car, that is the day you will know. You know why? They will not envy you because you buy a car. They will envy you if you know the price they have paid to get what they have. And you paid nothing. Some have sacrificed their life. Some have taken short life to be at the level they are. And you just got your own a platter of gold. And you want them to fold their hands and watch you. No. They will fight you. They will fight you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it. The blood of Jesus is the higher price for your life. But you need faith to know that price has been paid. Higher than whatever price they have paid. You kill a human being or you buy a human being eyes or buy a human being private organ so that you can be wealthy. When the person is rotting in on the grave and decaying, the content of your power will be frozen. Go and tell them, I say so. Are we here? And that is why at every other moment they need to renew it. Wickedness plus wickedness plus wickedness plus wickedness because the price paid are so temporal. But your price is an eternal price. Don't you think about this? He paid that debt. It's not by singing. He did not owe. I owe that debt. I could not pay. I need that someone. A brand new song, amazing grace. Lord Jesus, pain that I could never. He made a way where there was no way. He made a way. He has made a way. He made a way where there seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. You struggle, you struggle, you struggle, you struggle. You will not struggle until you die. The blood of Jesus has made a way for you. I see it turning around. Jehovah turns my life around. Sit down and be turning around. He may say where, where this is nowhere. Jehovah has the final. Jinefe Dima. Jinefe. Nimosi Neto. The Moses Angel. Enuana Jayem Oya in the fair. Take over. To better power this one. Take over. Jesus, take over. I cannot do it. Unless you take over, yalla gada gada 
to heaven I am doing all I can to get you on to the level of your faith that will change your world because if your generation fell it will be so terrible in your father's house but may God take over in your father's house in your time come on and invite God Jehovah 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 is your name Jehovah Wahaya, Jehovah Wahaya, Ile ne no wani ne, Jehovah Wahaya, Aya Aya kada bado saya, Ile ke de kada bado saya, Ika kada bado sunya dana ya. is your name visit my foundation tonight and answer your name a jehovah a yagado sagadaya elande katite dara a rabado kabaya nanosa i want to see you pray a ladado sagata you on the social media connector rise on your fear whether you are your house rise on your fear jehovah is your name arise Manifest your name and my foundation. Manifest your name and my foundation. Manifest your power. A Jehovah, a Jehovah, a Jehovah, a Jehovah, a Jehovah, a Jehovah. Sing hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Sing hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Sing hallelujah. Fears your father's house. Oh, I wonder the generation that can make it right. Somebody will pray. Blood of Jesus. Let them may have my foundation. From every wickedness. From every power. Let them may have my foundation. Blood of Jesus. Rikupasiana, 
Rakopa Shagada, Rakada Kopalia. In Jesus, my dear, we pray. Amen. Listen to me. You will pray. The deity, the God, the authors, your fathers have served to your ignorance that have been troubling your life. Their time is over. You will pray tonight. The Bible says, blood in the handwriting. Blood hey, on hey, Jesus. Hey, hey. Every handwriting of dieting, of altar, of witchcraft, of my father's and my mother. Trouble in my life. Trouble them now. Trouble them now. Trouble them now. Blood of Jesus. Trouble my trouble now. Blood of Jesus. And let the fire in my blood. And let the fire in my blood. I let the fire in my house. I let the fire in my night. I let the fire in my mind. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Trouble them. Arise and trouble my troublers tonight, O oh God. There shall know no peace, there shall know no rest. Trouble every troublers, trouble in my destiny, trouble in my life tonight. Arise, O oh Lord, let up the troubled, O oh God. Every of my troublers, let up the troubled wherever they are. In the east, north, west, and south, tonight, arise, 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 and trouble my troublers, trouble my troublers, trouble my troublers, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We don't have enough time. This is what is in my heart. Listen. Listen, I, I, I thank God you're praying. But you have to stay on this message. Until the next impartation, you need to stay on the message, stay on the prayer. You need to get more prayer. You need to stay on this message because it's a night of your deliverance. Listen to me. Listen to me. Egypt was so bad that the vow you imagine 400 years, they held a generation bound. They held a generation bound. Even if God punished them for 400 years, 30 years extra was a long time. How can you have one problem for 30 years? You've done everything and it's not going. Every problem that has stayed with you since the day Dominion Girl was born shall not survive this 21 days for said. If by ordinary nature of man's ability, Israel will not be free from the Egypt. I don't know the name of the enemies of your family. But tonight, you shall be free. The Bible says, God sent a weapon that weakened Pharaoh, that weakened Egypt, that weeping everywhere. It is called the weapon of the east winds. I want you to pray. <laughs> My father, by the power of your Israel, by the power of your Israel, they set my foundation. They set my foundation. They set my foundation. Trouble my Egyptian. Trouble my trouble. Trouble every trouble. Trouble my neck. Trouble my life. Trouble my marrow. Trouble my trouble. Trouble my trouble. Trouble my trouble. I said that as well. I said that as well. I said that as well. You said you said the Jesha. I got the Jesha. Said the Jesha. I got the Jesha. Said the Jesha. I got the Jesha. I let them fight them now. Said them I got the Sarah. I let them fight them my member. My partner. Said them I got the Sarah. I let them fight them. My family. Said them I got the Sarah. So up, let every trouble up and trouble, every Egyptian trouble in me tonight. Arise and trouble them, arise and trouble them, arise up and trouble them. Sada Nosha, Reda Copaya, and the De Copania, Reki Penisua, wherever they are, oh God, let up the trouble in the land, let up the trouble in the air, let up the trouble in the Jesus, now we pray. Amen. Look at this. Look at this. Isaiah 19 verse 2c. 
and therefore won against his neighbor city against city and kingdom against kingdom the day when god will turn your egyptians against themselves they will fight themselves house to house city to city you you think you're in lagos so you are not in the village but by network they know what to do with you come on are we here how our generation shall praise your your name. Name. Our our generation your generation will not praise the god of the egyptians of hey, your fathers they will not praise the god of your mothers they will praise the god of the most high our generation shall praise your name our generation shall praise your name our generation shall praise your name our generation
if you can pray this prayer ah. in 48 hours in different way you will burst into new songs my father you are my redeemer you are my redeemer redeem me fight my battle fight my battle fight for me and set me free in the name of Jesus 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 in the name of Jesus
you to be here tomorrow Wednesday it's our weekly service it's not impartation but we continue I told you on Sunday that we are walking back to God's presence and God is restoring his presence correcting the foundation but lift up your hands tonight lift up your hands everything that have begun to walk affliction in your body through food you have eaten if I be called and part and the commission by God to raise men from death to life, that thing creating and projecting slow death in your body, hear the word of the Lord. For your fountain dry up right now. Dry up right now. Everyone planning to poison your life. I command them to turn against the cells. They shall poison the cells. Everyone waiting for your day of celebration to plant evil in your life. I declare they shall not live to see the day of your celebration. In the name of Jesus, I've canceled the sentence of death on your life. I call forth your prosperity. I call forth your blessings. I call forth your opportunities. You shall begin to manifest them now. In Jesus' mighty name. You see the communion today. There can be more than this. I wish I know you had communion. Maybe I would have just um, stopped your sins. This is double dose. Can you get the communion right now? Thank you, Jesus. This communion will be changing your season. The Bible says, change their season of blindness to the season of revelation. He opened their eyes to see and opened their ear to understand that he was the one. Whatsoever have been working for the devil in your life will be reversed. Today, I decree as you eat and partake of this communion, you partake unto life, unto revelation, inside and eyesight healing of your body healing of your blood and healing of your capacity 
in Jesus mighty name Amen Amen Quickly rise to your feet Let your power flow In this place Let your healing come In this place I call for signs and wonders In this place Let your presence show say congratulations for being in this meeting you will have an encounter this night the IT should please do the YouTube of this program and send it out immediately and send it out immediately and um, please stay on this CD on this uh, ministration even after tomorrow stay on this ministration there are some things it will be doing in your life you're going to pray more than we prayed here Praise God. I am aware that many of you would have heard what happened in uh, our war on Sunday. How many of you heard about that? And then, please, we have given instruction to the security at the church cathedral. Every one of you that comes in here now will be scammed. Were you scammed tonight? You'll be scammed. Your back will be scammed. There are modern ways of carrying and being dangerous now. So we don't want to. Uh, we know the Holy Ghost is here. The angels of God are here. We want to be very sure that we have the right people inside this hall. Praise God. So please, when they get me and are asking you to do that, cooperate with them. It is for our own good. And then we also have to revive our CCTV project. CCTV project. We suspended it early this year. The Lord told us about it and uh, we expected it to happen. But uh, many of you have been given letter by the Convention Planning Committee. If you've received that letter, we will please want you to begin to respond to that letter. Let us do our CCTV and the question means let us put a camera in the church. Whether we're here or not, there will be a camera. When we come in, we put it on to know what happened. Would that be good? So God watch those who watches 
over their heart. We will build and we will watch. We will pray and we will watch. Our faith will not fail. But this is not a time. You know in the days of Nehemiah, Nehemiah asked them because of Sambalas and Tobias, they said, let us start the building. Let us hold our shovel with the right hand and let us hold our weapon with the left hand. So sometimes we just interpret the Bible, you know, by passing. The CCTV will be costing us a lot of money, but we have to do it. Praise God. So if the Convention Planning Committee are giving your family a letter, don't wait until August. Start paying now. Let's start doing some things now so that when it comes to August, it will be free. And please, you can call me so we can just connect the immediate money and put our CCTV. Praise God. And then um, this fasting is ongoing. This is the third impartation. I know you've been enjoying, 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 enjoying. We are, we are burning uh, overhead. This whole, everything is going on. So give us your seed of faith for the fasting. God will give you more money. If we are getting guest ministers, we shall take care of them. But I have chosen to be your guest minister. Praise God. Take care of the meeting and the overhead. God bless you. I hope to see you tomorrow. Let's take our offering right now. Can we call Pastor Bauer to come and collect the offering tonight? Come on, somebody. You are not celebrating Jesus.